Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a casual one where we're just going to look at some new releases together and I'll be sharing my thoughts on them and whether or not I'll be getting any of them. There's a lot of new releases in the alternate bricks world, so let's get to it. The first one here is from Decool. These are mini appliances. Uh, there's 12 of them. They look like they're really small sets. Um, in some of their promotional videos, they do show them together in like a background, but it does say that it doesn't include the background. It's just for inspiration. The next one is from Top Toy. This is a crossover with Little Parrot BB and it's authorized. I don't know this IP. Is this like a Chinese cartoon maybe? I'm not sure, but these look like some like vehicles or cars and there's four of them and they're all kind of in different styles there's like a sushi one a hot dog one carrot one and milk one i think they're cute i don't know this ip so i won't be getting these the next one is also from top toy these are the retro appliances series i have a few of their previous ones they had a washing machine a refrigerator tv and i forgot what the last one was so this looks like um, a sequel or continuation of that series there is a radio it looks like there's some moving parts there where you can put it, the cassette in it and oh yeah and all of them have like an interior or it opens up and then there's a little scene inside so it looks like these ones are the same as well the computer one looks pretty cute actually it's got a lot of details I don't think I'll be getting these two. The next one is also from Top Toy. This is a collaboration with Shaolan Friends. Um, I don't know what this IP is. I'm not sure if it's maybe a Chinese cartoon or a manga, something like that. Um, looks like there are a few different scenes or dioramas. There's this one where he's surrounded by clocks. Looks like he can't get up for work. There is this one that is like a bus stop. There is this one, which is like a Friday karaoke scene. And then there's also this one, which is like an office scene. So I think these are pretty cute, actually. There's a lot of details in them, even though they look like pretty small sets. But I don't know this IP, so I won't be getting them. And the next one is from Fantasy. They do a lot of authorized sets as well, and I love seeing authorized sets. So I think these are pretty cool. Um, this one here is a collaboration with Popeye and this looks really cool. This is the ship and I'm not sure, this might not be too new actually. I'm not sure when it was released um, but it's the first time I saw it. This one looks really good. I think if you're a fan of the series, this is definitely cool. I am not a particular fan of Popeye so I won't be getting this. The next one is also from Fantasy. This is a collaboration with a 90s PC game called Paladin. And this one looks really cool. It looks like the screen kind of pops out with like a little, with the figures and this little scene there. And it looks like there's other scenes you can swap out as well. There are some detail shots. So it looks like you can like insert the discs and like the floppy disks. There's also the mouse and the mouse pad. Even the mouse pad has some art on it from the game. Here are some more detailed shots of like the keyboard. That looks really good, but I'm hoping that those are all printed pieces. I can't imagine putting stickers on all of those keys. So hopefully those are printed pieces. And there's also a, a lot of detail with the back of the computer as well. So these are the scenes that I mentioned. It looks like on top of like the one in the cover, there are four other ones. And these are all scenes from the game. I recognize some of them and it looks like, yeah, you can have the pop-out screen or you can swap it out for some other, I guess, backgrounds. So you have just like a regular desktop background and the title screen of the game. And that, I remember that title screen, that game definitely has this title screen. How cool is this? Like, even though I haven't actually played this 90s version of this game myself, I played the remake and I've watched my brother play this game as a child. This is super nostalgic and I think this is super cool. Of course, this is authorized and I'm not really sure, but it may be a limited quantity. I read something uh, about that. 
um, but I may have ordered this one already. Um, it's not here yet, but I'm super excited. Uh, so stay tuned for the review on this one. The next one is from Keeply. This is a collaboration with Pokemon. And of course, this is also authorized. It looks like these are small succulent pots with the Pokemon sitting on it. I'm not a fan of Pokemon myself, but I think the figures here look really good. So for those fans out there, the next one is also from Keeply. This is the collaboration with Naruto. Um, they've released a bunch of sets for Naruto previously as well, most notably the ramen shop. Uh, I did buy the ramen shop, but I haven't built it yet. And this one, it looks like is, I'm not sure what season this is from. It says on the corner there, but I, I don't follow the show, so I don't really know. But this is someone's birthday party. I believe Kipley only uses printed pieces. So everything you see here should be, hopefully, uh, printed pieces. Here's a look of the set. These are just like the typical Kipley diorama style sets. Here are some more detail shots. And the next one is from Lost. This is part of their Dim Sum series. If you haven't watched it yet, I did do a full review on the Dim Sum series. Uh, there were six of them that they released previously. I'll link the video here. It looks like they're coming out with more sets for this series. So this one is the, the sticky rice wrapped in like the leaf. And then there's also this other one, which is a jong, which is also sticky rice wrapped in the leaf. So it's kind of funny that they released two very similar ones, but I will probably be getting these two and add it to my collection. Oh, this next one I'm super excited about. This is a collaboration with Scissor 7. Scissor 7 is a Chinese anime. It is awesome. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. But just to give you a little like background, the main character guy is an assassin but he has a day job as a hairdresser. So he owns this little barbershop. And a lot of the scenes in the anime are, are, would be in this barbershop. And that's what this set is. Like, look at how cool this is. Looks like it's like a modular style with like the full decked out interior of the barbershop and the upper level where he lives as well. Like, I am speechless. Like, I would need this set. I think this is a collaboration with Balody. I don't know how the quality is, but I'm really hoping that it's good because I really, really want this set. Um, it does say that, that it's in a crowdfunding stage still. I'm not really sure how like the crowdfunding thing works in China. So I'm not sure when it's going to be released and I'm not even sure if it will be available to everyone or not. I might have to like buy it from Taobao or something, but I'll be keeping a close eye on this one. The minifigures looks really good as well. They're also releasing the uh, sword that the guys uses. The, there's an unofficial set out there already, but this one is official and it looks like it will be using glow-in-the-dark pieces. The next one is from Keeply. This is a collaboration with Jay Chow, like the Taiwanese singer Jay Chow which is interesting. It looks like it's like a piano and there's him on like a stage on there. And it looks like you can swap out the stage for different scenes. So there is this medicine shop. There is this like detective office. There's this kid's room as well. I'm not a fan of J. Chow myself, so I won't be getting these. But for J. Chow fans out there, you can get him in brick form now. The next one is a collaboration with Snoopy. We've seen a lot of like Snoopy sets recently, and I'm not sure if they're all from the same brand. I'm not sure what this brand is, but this one looks like it's a supermarket. And they're kind of doing it in the style of those like miniature toys, like the Reman ones where you have to buy them and then the inside is random. And then they use the box as sort of like the background. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it kind of sucks that you have to buy all of them to get this scene instead of it being just a set and that it's just using like a paper as a background. But I think it looks cute though. The next one here also from the same brand and these ones are little shops. So you have like this gift shop, you have a flower shop, you have a bookstore and you have a bakery shop. 
The next one is from this brand called Rio Bricks. This one is one of those book nook ones. If you've seen them on, on social media, they're ones that are like wooden. And these are kind of like a copy of those style, but in bricks. Uh, I think these are okay. I have a few of the wooden ones and I think those ones look a lot better. It just has more detail in my opinion. So there's this one here, which I'm not sure what this one is. And then there's this magic station one, which we all know what, what that is. The next one here is from Zigao. This is a mushroom house. It looks kind of familiar, but Zigao does use mini bricks. So I think these are mini bricks and it, they do have um, numbered bags, which is great. The next one is from a brand called Forange. I don't have any sets from them, but this is called the Maple Leaves Villa. Looks kind of good, has a lot of transparent pieces. The design is kind of cool. Here's the box for it. it comes with some light bricks, it looks like. I probably won't be getting this, but I think this, uh, a lot of people might like this one. The next one is also from Zigao. This is the flower shop. Again, these are probably mini bricks. I can't find photos of the interior of this thing, um, so I'm not sure if it opens up or not. There's a night view of this, so it looks like maybe it comes with light bricks as well. The next one here is from Area X. Um, these are the Coffee Is My Life series, and these just look like those like little shops that we've seen before in the shape of the of coffee cups. And this one here is the Americano. And I'm not sure if those are printed pieces or stickers, hopefully printed. Uh, this one is the Caramel Macchiato, I believe, and also known as Work Slave. And the interior of it has like a person at work that would be me. The next one looks kind of cool. This is the Mocha and it's a UFO themed one. And then the last one is the Latte. Oh, this next one is from Laws as well. This is the Hong Kong Street series. This is definitely up my alley, but it's another Hong Kong set. I have so many Hong Kong themed sets. It kind of looks like the Sambo Block one um, that was released a while ago. I didn't get the Sambo Block one. Maybe I should get this one. I was tempted to get that one, but I didn't. And Laws are mini bricks, so this should be smaller and easier to store. Looks like this is a modular. Here are some detail shots inside. And there are two of them. This is the other one. Oh, they do look really good though. Again, here are some detail shots of this one. And of course, you can put them together to form a bigger set. Ugh, I'm really tempted to get these. I don't know, we'll see. I might get them. The next one is from Panlos. This is the mini EV series. Like you have like a shop front, a car, and also a car key as well. So there are different versions of these. There's like, this one is a beauty shop. There's a burger shop. There's a coffee shop, flower shop as well. So not really my thing, but... Um... So the next one is also from Area X, and this is called the X Story uh, series. By the way, um, Area X, I believe, is a sub-brand of Sambo Block, and the series are more like geared towards younger audience, or, like teenagers. I'm not really sure what they're trying to do here, but it looks like it is like a fairy tale theme, but like a twisted fairy tale. So in this one, or not twisted, but an alternate, in this one, it looks like the princess is riding the dragon herself, rather than uh, the, the prince saving her. And then you have this other one, which is an underwater scene one, like a Little Mermaid type of thing. And I'm not sure what the story of this one is. Okay, next. <laughs> next one is from a brand called Wonder Moon, which I believe is also a sub-brand of Sambo Blocks. This one looks like it's like a, like a musical box um, globe type thing with a conveyor belt sushi theme and it's kind of weird that they just released this single one there aren't other ones but okay the next one is also from wonder moon it looks like another mushroom house are these like really popular or something uh, i'm not sure but i won't be getting this one oh sorry this is fantasy again but this is the little prince collaboration um, these are authorized as well and there are i think four different types of this snow globe set the first one here is called the time travel I'm not really sure what Little Prince is about. I never really watched the 
uh, or sorry, read the novel. Is he a time traveler? I'm not sure, but this is a time traveling theme one. There's this forest theme one. There's this rose one. And then there's this space theme one where you get a, a green little prince, like, a, like an alien version. I mean, does this even have anything to do with the, with the novel? Let me know. The next one is from DK. And this is the Atlantis World Aquaria. So these are little aquariums. There's two of them. There's this one with the turtle. And then there is this other one with um, some tropical fish in it. The next one is from Zigao again. This is the film center. Looks like it is in the form of a retro TV, but the back opens up to reveal like an interior with some uh, figures inside. Um, it looks like there's also some moving parts maybe. Um, this is Zigao, so I believe these are probably going to be mini bricks as well, but I'm not sure. This next one is also from Ziga. This is a tree house. Um, we've seen a lot of different tree houses released by other brands previously. And I think this one looks kind of bare. My favorite one is probably from Lost, but I don't have that set. Oh, this next one is from Weki. This is the collaboration with Chibi Marukochan. And they've released some sets for the series previously already, um, like the house that she lives in. And I didn't get that one because it was gonna be too big. I have the um, Crayon Xinjiang one, which I haven't even built yet, but I'm pretty sure I won't have space for this one as well. So I didn't get it. But these ones are smaller and these are the shops. This first one here is a sweets shop and it looks like it is almost a complete 100% replica of the anime like even the placement of things are exactly the same here's a photo of the interior and it looks like the roof slides open and then there's a second one this is the mimatsuya which is a general store and again this looks like it's a is a one-to-one -one replica of the store in the anime and here are some detail shots. And this one looks like the side door slides open. Um, I think these ones are really cute. Uh, I'm really tempted to get these ones since I didn't get the house. So I don't know, I might be getting these. I hope those are all printed pieces, by the way, since there's so many of them. The next one is from a brand called Player ID. I haven't heard of this brand before, so it might be new, but it looks like it, uh, it is some small uh, plants. There are six of them. They also have this succulent version as well. The next one is from Sambo Block. This is a collaboration with Digimon. Um, I believe this one might be released already. There's actually a bunch of different sets for Digimon. So there's this one, and then there's also these sort of diorama scenes. There's this one here and this this one. Um, there are also some smaller sets which is like the Digimons themselves. There's a bunch of them. I didn't save all of them but here's three of them. I think if you're a fan of the series or you used to watch it as a child this would be super cool. Um, this next one is also from Sambo Block. These are some tiny um, flower pots. Um, so many flower pots these days. Uh, this one looks like they're all in different um, f flower pots or containers. The next one is from Area X. Once again, this is the Who's the Murderer series. This is also an authorized set and um, I'm not sure what this show is, but I believe it is a variety show uh, in China. And they're releasing these minifigures in series, so like in sets. I think they're releasing these in like an advent calendar style. And there are like several of them. So there's this one with the, these six characters in it. And then there's another one with these. And then separately, they're releasing this small little diorama or scene called the, what, what is it called? Rose, Guilty Rose, something like that. And it's from season seven. So if you know the show, maybe you'll be able to recognize this. 
Um, I don't know this show, so I won't be getting those. But I do think the minifigures look really good, though. Like, they look really detailed, lots of printing on it. So, pretty cool. The next one here is, again, from Wonder Moon. This is a mini pet series. So these look like they're really small sets and they come with this little container as well. The next one is from a brand called Nice Brick. Um, I have not heard of this brand before, so maybe they're new. And this is the Famous People series. This one here is Vincent van Gogh. And this one is Beethoven. And then this one is Albert Einstein. Um, I think these look pretty cool, actually. I'm not sure if these are regular size bricks or mini size. They look like they might be mini bricks. Um, but I think these look pretty cool. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll be getting these yet, but uh, I'll be excited to see other people review it. Hopefully Scotty will review it. The next one is from Sample Block. This is a collaboration with The Wandering Earth. This is a Chinese uh, post-apocalyptic movie, and they recently released a sequel. So these sets are from the sequel. Uh, looks like they have some vehicles and this Earth engine, which looks crazy, um, also looks massive. The next one is from Panlos. This is a collaboration with Lirakuma, which is a Japanese character from San X. These are the Brickhead style sets. I used to like Lirakuma quite a lot when I was a kid. Um, I think it's pretty cool that they have these authorized sets now. Looks like there are six of them. The next one is from Keepley. This is the collaboration with Crayon Shinchang. Now, they've released several other sets for Crayon Shinchang already, uh, including the house that I mentioned before. And this one is a playground scene. And this looks pretty big, actually. It looks like it will take up quite a bit of space. Um, here are some detailed shots of this set. I think the figures look really good in these sets. Um, I probably won't be getting this one since I have the house already, which is already going to take a lot of space. The next one here is from a brand called Qi De, or Qi De, QD. Um, it looks like it's a collaboration with maybe like a department store or something, and it is yet another retro radio. I don't know what's it with these brands, why they're all releasing the same thing at the same time. But this one looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like there are again some moving parts. There are some dioramas or scenes inside that are swappable. You have this like theater looking one. It says that this is 100% printed pieces. They also give you this sticker sheet as well to decorate it with. And here is the box for this one. I think the box looks pretty cool. It has that old school like appliance box look to it. I think I might like this one the most out of all of the other radio ones that we saw earlier. This next one is from Qiji Le and it is a succulent uh, plant series. There are a bunch of them and it looks like they're all in this like um, light bulb look. Uh, it looks kind of cool. There are like a lot of different color variations with different flowers. So you have this like blue one or the box is blue. It's called white moon shadow. This is purple one. There's a bunch of them. I didn't save all of the photos. Uh, the next one is from Lost. This is like the frame type of sets. This is the Sakura Densha. And as usual with Lost sets, these look like it has a lot of detail. Um, I'm not a fan of the, the minifigures that are in this set though. This is not like the typical type of minifigures. And I don't really like this type. I, if I had this set, I would probably won't even put them in. But this one is like one of two. So I think they're going to release a second one as well. This next one is from Jackie. This is another retro appliance series. So this one, there's six of them. And it looks like uh, there are some that are moving parts, like the one with the uh, tape inside. And I think Jackie only uses regular size bricks. Uh, I'm not 
totally sure, but I think these ones might be regular size bricks. Um, the next one is from Inbricks. This is more sets from their teddy bear collection. These are authorized sets as well. And um, these ones are just small dioramas. Looks like there's a bunch of them. There's this uh, like snowboarding one. There's this Chinatown one. There's this surfing one, this Chinese one, this uh, little boat pirate theme one, a space theme one, and what's this one? What's this one? Like skateboard, I think, and this race car one. So I think these are pretty cute, actually. Um, these are small sets, it looks like. I'm not quite sure if I'll be getting these just yet. Um, I'm gonna have to decide that later when it comes out. I don't think these are out yet. And I think that was the last one. There are still a lot of other releases. I've just picked out some that I thought was interesting or maybe a little unique. There are so many new releases, it's impossible to talk about all of them. I'm really glad to see that a lot of these brands are doing these authorized sets now. I think that's awesome and I can't wait to see what these brands come out with next. Uh, most of the sets that I talked about today are either newly released or haven't released yet. So if I can find links to any of them, I will put them down below. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. Um, let me know what you think of these sets. Um, are you going to get any of them? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me again today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!